Hello Youtubers, I'm Parways and this is our uh, 24th video in Q uh, Qt5 uh, C++ Graphical User Interface Application Development. In the previous video we have learned how you can create state machines in Qt5 uh, in Qt5 C++ so uh, we and we had some more videos on animation uh, we have completed our animation uh, videos so now it's time to do a little bit talk about uh, creating uh, shapes and 2D graphics in Qt5 C++. So uh, by uh, using Qt5 you can uh, create different shapes like uh, rectangle, ellipses, polygons, text, you can draw images uh, and Qt5 there is a class at name of QPainter in Qt5 that you can use for drawing of your uh, shapes and also we have uh, QPen and QBrush that uh, you can use them for uh, giving a style and uh, brush styles and also color to your shapes. So now let's get started. Particularly uh, in this video I want to show you how you can draw text and also uh, how you can uh, draw line in Qt5. So now I'm going to create a new file or project Qt widget application and I'm going to call it drawing like this uh, click on next next and finish okay now uh, this is our header file we have our header file we have an our cpp files now in the header file we need to include uh, qpainter like this okay and uh, i have said that uh, we can use qpainter for drawing of all kind of our shapes now uh, this QPenter there is a method that we can declare in here now in this section we can declare that uh, virtual white that is paint event okay paint event and Q Q paint event pointer to event okay now we have uh, declared our uh, paint event method now we uh, need to add definition you can simply uh, right click on this and you can refactor and add definitions in main window.cpp click on this now we have our uh, definition in our main window.cpp now in here the first thing you need you need to create a painter object so i'm going to create a cube painter i call it uh, my text and the parent is this okay after this now I'm going to uh, draw my text dot draw text so give the position for your text I want uh, uh, 20 and 30 X and Y position and also you can after that you can give your text so QT5 text drawing and now if I run my uh, application uh, I should see a uh, text that's uh, QD5 text drawing now it's building and the build will be completed it will take a few seconds okay now build is completed and uh, yeah, now you can see we have uh, uh, our uh, text, QT5 text drawing. Now you can add, uh, for example, if you want to change the font size or uh, font, uh, it should be, for example, I want it to be Times New Roman or it should be bold. You can do this uh, in here. You can simply write my text dot set font and give a Q font so the first one I want a times and the size should be uh, 16 and it should be QT uh, bolt uh, Q font bolt not QT Q font bolt like this okay now if I refresh this you will see that I have a bold uh, text
Now you can see we have a bold uh, QD5 text drawing. So this was text part. Uh, also, you can use text document. For example, uh, by using QText document, we can render HTML formats. So let me show you the example. First, you need to add uh, in your header file at QText document and the main window main window.cpp in here I'm going to create a qtext document object qtext document I call it document and uh, after this I want to create a qrect I call it rect and give it 00, zero and uh, 250 250 and uh, now you need to translate your text translate and I want it should be 150 okay uh, now I want to set my HTML take your document dot set HTML in here so I want a bold tag in here B and it should be hello and after this I want to give a font color it should be red like this and the size I want to give it 30 now close your phone tag and in here add QD5 C++ QD5 C++ okay and uh, after uh, creating your HTML file now we need to uh, draw our contents so document dot draw contents and give a reference to your my text and also your rect and now if I run this and it's building you can do uh, more stuff of HTML using QText document. It is a simple example. So now you can see we have hello QD5 C++. Now uh, this is the bold one, and this is uh, the this line that we uh, we give it uh, red color and the size 30. So uh, this was the text. Now I'm going to show you how you can draw line in QD5 C++. For this, I'm going to create a Q Painter object. Q Painter. And I call it my line and now you can draw your line my line dot draw line and now in here you need to give a start position of XY and the end position of uh, XY so for a start position I'm going to give it 50 50 and for the end 200 200 and 200 so now if I run this you will see I have a nice line Now it's building and the build will be completed. Yeah, you can see this is my line, and uh, you can give some uh, style to your line. For example, you can give width uh, my line dot set width. Let me just uh, okay. Uh, you need to you uh, using Q pen. You can give. Uh, for example, if you want to, your line should be taker, you can use Q pen. So I'm going to give it line pen. And I want the line should be read, uh, should be green. And also, I want to set the width for my line, uh, it should be 10. Okay, after this, now set. Uh, your pen to your painter. So my line dot set pen and give your pen. pen. Now if I refresh this, you will see that I have a nice um, pen. Oh, it's line pen, not pen. Sorry. 
Now let me run it again. Now it's building in a few uh, seconds. Now you can see we have a green line and it is uh, tech. Thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, don't forget subscription of my channel. Like the videos, share the videos, and comment the videos.